Mix Up in the Mediterranean is a really good film, but the part with the wristband is a little bit unbelievable. I will discuss what I mean by that, but I won't give away any spoilers. This was released in 2021. It's directed by Jonathan Wright and written by Julie Kim and Karin Marwood. And this stars Jeremy Jordan as Josh and Julian and Jessica Londas as Meg. And... Josh and Julian are twins. Both are avid cooks. One is a very sophisticated chef with his own restaurant. The other one hasn't quite reached that yet and perhaps maybe doesn't want to either. He has a very different cooking style and a different approach, but they're also identical twins. Even if their careers are slightly different, there's no denying that they look identical since they're played by the same actor. And that part of it is really great. If I didn't know that it was Jeremy Jordan playing this role and somebody told me the role was actually played by twins, I'd completely believe it because it was very convincingly done. And unfortunately, when one of them is supposed to be registering for this cookery competition, he hurts his back, so he sends his twin brother down to just sign the form, show his ID, and then his back will be healed in time for the competition, no problems. However, when the twin who isn't meant to be in the competition, signs the form, he is given this tracking device wristband. And he's supposed to wear it throughout the competition. And it also gives him access to the the kitchen where he's going to be working. It's So each station is accessed only by the chefs who are assigned that station to prevent sabotage. Makes perfect sense. What doesn't make sense is that he wouldn't be able to take the wristband off. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe it is a thing, but I find it hard to believe that they would weld a band to your wrist and not take it off until you leave. That seems a little bit impractical and potentially dangerous as well, I'm not sure, but it just seemed a little bit far-fetched that he wouldn't be able to take it off his wrist. It wasn't like one of those bands you get at festivals where if you rip it off, it's ripped. It looked like a, a Fitbit. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if it was actually some kind of wrist pedometer device because it looked identical to them and they don't tend to get welded to your wrists you can take them on and off so that part of it I really really struggled to suspend disbelief with and I think the narrative would have just made more sense if his brother just had been unable to compete for some reason such as you know his bad back was just so severe or he had, I don't know, a bad case of food poisoning or something. There are many other ways that this could have worked without suggesting that they had welded a tracking device to his wrist. As I said, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe that is a thing, but I find it hard to believe that that would be the case. But once I was able to overlook that, it's a really fun story in some ways with the excitement of the competition and wondering what dishes they're going to come up with. And then we have this romantic relationship between the fake twin, if you like, and Meg. And that part of it, I thought, was really lovely. I was also very curious to find out how the truth would come out. I I assumed it would, but I didn't have any idea what would happen or how Meg would respond. And certainly... I was very interested in finding out and it definitely kept me really engaged and ultimately it's a really good film and if you can look past the whole wristband thing then it's actually a very well written narrative and the twin aspect works really well. The twins are played differently enough that it's really easy to tell which twin is speaking. They swap each other's clothes and things so had it not been done right, had Jeremy Jordan played them too similarly It might have become confusing at times, but I felt like the performances for both characters were distinct enough that it was always pretty clear which twin we were with, particularly when they were together. And I think that that worked really well. If you like cookery-based rom-coms, then I think you'll really enjoy Mix Up in the Mediterranean. It's a pretty decent film. The narrative could do with a tiny little bit of work to make things make a little bit more sense. But other than that, I rather enjoyed it and I'm happy to recommend it.